In this session, I will explain band stop filter. Band stop filter. Okay. So it is similar to that of a band pass filter. Here it is a band pass filter. I explained in the last video. If I interchange this series branch, this series resonance circuit with this parallel resonance circuit, and this parallel re resonance circuit with this series resonance circuit, then that is the network of this band stop filter. Means we need to interchange the series and shunt arms in this band stop filter, and also the definition of this band stop filter. It will allows the signals having the frequencies below the lower cutoff frequency and above the upper cutoff frequencies. Means it is the pass band. These are this is pass band. It is pass band and it is stop band in case of this band stop filter. So let me uh, draw that. So it is the signal strength. If it is taken as a signal strength. And it is the frequency, it is lower cutoff frequency F1, upper cutoff frequency F2. And it stops this band of frequencies. It stops this band of frequencies and allows these frequencies below the lower cutoff frequency and above the upper cutoff frequency. Means it is stop band. It is a stop band. It is pass band. Okay. Now, while we'll coming to the construction point of view, just by interchanging the series on shunt branches in case of band pass filter, we'll get band stop filter. Means the T type of network can be redrawn can be drawn like this so it is the shunt uh, resonant circuit which are having the two elements only that is it is sorry it is this total one is z1 it is z1 by 2 now this is series this uh, shunt branch should be series resonance circuit this series branch should be shunt resonance circuit so it is the t type of network and this is z2 it is z1 by 2 right it is t type t type band stop filter t type band stop filter come into this uh, it is 1 1 dash 1 1 dash 2 2 dash come into this pi type of networks this branch should be a parallel lc circuit lc resonant circuit and these branches should be series LC resonance circuits ok 2 2 dash 1 1 dash this is 2 z2 this is 2 z2 it is z1 ok you know that Z1 is equal to for this parallel combination of JXL1 in parallel with sorry in parallel with minus JXC1 and Z2 Z2 is JXL2 minus JXC2 so 
if i want to find it is sorry it is j into omega l1 into minus j divided by omega c1 divided by j omega l1 minus j by omega c1 this is the value of z1 and if i divide with 2 this l1 will become l1 by 2 and this c1 will become 2 c1 if you find this z1 by 2 we will get the in place of l1 that is l1 by 2 in place of c1 that will become 2 c1 so as i already explained this type of concept in band pa band stop sorry band pass filter so you go through that video so that you can understand finally what i want to say here is this z1 by 2 if you find this this will be l1 by 2 it is 2 c1 so it is l1 by 2 it is 2 c1 but in case of this it is only z2 it is l2 and it is c2 coming to this this z1 it is only z1 so it is only l1 it is c1 2 z2 if i find this 2 z2 it is actually it is j omega l2 minus j divided by omega c2 if i multiply this impedance with two times with 2 this l2 will become 2 l2 and capacitor will become c2 by 2 it will become half okay so this concept also i explained in the previous video if you don't understand why i am writing like this you go through that video next so z1 z2 is okay next thing here is this uh, nominal impedance that is nominal impedance nominal impedance that is k here if you multiply z1 with z2 as in the case of previous one it is uh, also similar to it is z1 z2 is equal to k square if you multiply this z1 and z2 then we will get it as uh, k square is equal to l2 by c1 that is equal to l1 by c2 and here also in this band stop filter this parallel lc resonance circuit and the series lc resonance circuits will resonate at a at a particular resonance frequency that is omega naught so from that if i use that resonance frequency but if i make this uh, uh, resonance frequency sorry if i equal this xl1 under resonance frequency under <coughs> resonance under resonance xl1 is equal to xc1 and xl2 is equal to xc2 if i find it then omega naught square is equal to 1 by l1 c1 and omega naught square is equal to 1 by l2 c2 this concept also I expand in the previous video now if i use this omega naught square is equal to 1 by l1 c1 and omega this one is equal to l1 c1 that is l1 c1 is equal to l2 c2 if i use this concept in finding this k we will get this type of expression that is k square is equal to l2 by c1 this one so this is the nominal impedance so if you find the multiplication of this z1 and z2 this z1 it is z2 if we find and use this use this uh, this uh, implication in this uh, in this uh, derivation we will get this k square as this one next uh, z1 z2 sorry cutoff frequencies coming to this cutoff frequencies cutoff frequencies fc's 
here there are two cutoff frequencies f1 and f2 lower cutoff frequency upper cutoff frequencies so to uh, get the relation between this resonance frequency and lower and upper cutoff frequencies what we have to use here is this z1 by 4 z2 is equal to minus 1 and z1 is equal to it is minus 4 z2 now here I will multiply with z2 in both sides of this equation in case of bands pass filter I multiplied the same expression with z1 but here I multiplied this expression with z2 the reason behind that is if I multiply with z2 what will be what happens you can see here so multiply multiply with z2 then z1 z sorry yes yes z1 z2 is equal to minus 4 z2 square now z2 square is equal to minus z1 z2 means k square it is k square by 4 if i bring minus 4 to this denominator it will become like this now z2 is equal to plus or minus 1 by 2 j into k so the reason why i am multiplying with z2 here is z2 is having this expression this one if i multiply with this z1 then this calculations will become some tedious that is complex cal calculations will get because it is a bigger term compared to this one it is a simple term compared to this one so that i am multiplying with this z2 here in case of that band pass filter z1 will have the simple uh, expression compared to this z2 in case of band pass filter that is the reason why i multiply in band pass filter with the z1 here i multiply with z2 now if i multiply with z2 and use the same thing here that is uh, the value of the value of z2 at lower cutoff frequency lower cutoff frequency frequency is negative why it is negative i expand in the last video next and the negative value of z2 at lower cutoff frequency lower cutoff frequency is equal to is equal to positive value of value of z2 at higher cutoff frequency higher cutoff frequency so that is minus z2 is equal minus z2 at omega is equal to omega 1 is equal to plus z2 at omega is equal to omega 2 if i find this expression if i derive this expression then i will get the same thing that is omega naught is equal to square root of omega 1 into omega 2 and f naught is equal to square root of f1 into f2 so the same expression you will get here also next thing i'm using here it is uh, 18th band stop filter is 18th one next variation of alpha beta on z naught with frequency that is variation alpha is ordination constant beta is sorry variation of variation of alpha comma beta comma on z naught with respect to with respect to 
frequency to understand this variation of alpha beta and z not with respect to frequency in band stop filter we should understand the variation of these parameters with respect to frequency in low pass filter high pass filter also in low pass filter and high pass filter so this is the sorry this is this is the variation of alpha and beta z not in low pass filter and this is the variation of alpha beta and z not in high pass filter why i am stressing here is i told you uh, while i am while i explain in band pass filter i explain this concept also that is this band pass filter follows sorry this band pass filter will be constructed using high pass filter followed by low pass filter but here this band stop filter will be constructed using low pass filter followed by high pass filter that means here the variation of alpha with respect to frequency and the variation of beta with respect to frequency and the variation of this z not with respect to frequency now these variations you can see it is beta it is alpha it is z not this is the lower cut off frequency f1 it is upper cut off frequency f2 this is the resonance frequency f0 now let us extend this f1 f0 and f2 like this it is f0 is f2 right okay so this is f1 f0 f2 f1 f0 f2 coming first uh, let me explain about alpha so it will be constructed using low pass filter followed by the uh, high pass filter so the variation of alpha in low pass filter will be like this means in pass band there is no attenuation in stop band there is an attenuation so this is the lower cut off frequency and it is low pass this is the freq this is the cut off frequency of low pass filter this is the cut off frequency of high pass filter so now it will it will be constructed with the low pass filter followed by the high pass filter so this graph will be like this so the here this is the pass band we know that this pass band and this one is stop band it is pass band it is stop band stop band this is pass band so this variation will be for this one it is a cut off frequency for low pass filter so it will be it will be like this this graph and for high pass filter it is like a high pass filter uh, variation so it is high pass filter uh, cut off frequency this graph will be like this
this graph will be like this okay so this is the variation of um, alpha alpha means attenuation constant with respect to frequency next beta this is beta so it is for the low pass filter first i need to draw the low pass filter one so this is the low pass filter so in pass band this will be the variation so let me draw that uh, this will be the it is equals to this pi and it is in stop band next followed by high pass filter so in high pass filter it is high pass filter uh, variation this is the high pass filter variation this one is high pass filter variation so this is stop band so it is in stop band and sorry this is wrong here for a high pass filter it will come like this means uh, this will be minus pi so it is uh, it will be like this and it is sorry this is the cut off frequency this so this cut off frequency so below that cut off frequency it is minus pi so it will come to the minus pi point it is minus pi point and this is this cut off frequency is this one so this variation will be like this so this is the cut off frequency sorry here here i did a mistake here what that is this is the cut off frequency means this is the cut off frequency beyond this point only this curve should be established below that point it should be minus pi that is this is the this is not the curve between f0 and f2 so this curve should be like this minus pi only this curve will be minus pi only after this cut off frequency this is the cut off frequency this is the cut off frequency after this this will be like this so this is like this so this is the band stop filter variation let me explain once again here so this is the pause band this is also pause band it is the stop band so in stop band first it is high pass filter so this comes under the high pass filter so it is high pass filter for this high pass filter it is stop band during that stop band so below this cut off frequency it will be minus here minus pi up to this one it is minus pi so after this it will be extended like this so this one is high pass so low pass filter for low pass filter the variation of beta will be the variation of beta the variation of beta will be like this we can see this so within the pass band this follows the curve like this and after that it will become pi so within the pass band this is pi and it is under stop band next thing here uh, variation of this uh, characteristic impedance z not so it is a uh, uh, low pass filter cut off frequency high pass filter cut off frequency so this is the variation of this is the variation of z not for a, a low pass filter so it is a value of k means it is k value it is a value of k and this is the cut off frequency of low pass filter so this one is the cut off frequency of low pass filter so this follows the curve will be this curve will be like this it is z not t it is z not pi z not pi it is pass band it is stop band so it is pass band it is stop band now followed by this uh, uh, high pass filter so the variation of the high pass filter uh, characteristic impedance will be like this variation of the high pass 
high pass filter characteristic impedance this is the variation of characteristic impedance uh, sorry variation of the characteristic impedance in high pass filter so this is the cut off frequency for high pass filter where is the cut off frequency here in this high pass filter uh, this fc is this f2 now to draw this a forms it will be like this and this one will be like this so it is z not pi it is z not t so this is how we need to draw the variation of this alpha beta and z not with respect to frequency to understand this variation we should understand this low pass high pass filters variation of the alpha beta z not with respect to frequency next thing here is design of a filter so this is the uh, we can number it as 18 yeah it is uh, okay it is 19 next content one content page in this under the page design of a filter design of design of a band stop filter band stop filter so in this design of a band stop filter first thing this is where is the construction construction of band stop filter construction yes okay this is the construction of band stop filter so to design this i need to draw this t type of network or phi type of uh, band stop filters is pi type pi type band stop band stop filter after drawing these networks we should place the proper values of l1 c1 l2 c2 so for that i need to calculate the values of l1 c1 and l2 c2 so here to desire to find these values i am using this expressions using the expressions of uh, this one z1 z2 is equal to plus or minus 1 by 2 k jk i am using that expression here z2 is equal to plus or minus 1 by 2 j into k here we know that we know that z2 is equal to what is z2 here this is z2 for a band stop filter j x l2 minus j by sir by j x c2 that is j x l2 minus j x c2 we know that uh, at lower cut off frequency this z2 is negative so z2 at lower cut off frequency this is z2 at lower cut off frequency cut off frequency is negative that is z2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 jk at omega is equal to omega 1 so let me write this one j x l2 minus j x c2 at omega is equal to omega 1 is equal to minus 1 by 2 into j into k x l2 j into omega l2 minus j common 1 by omega c2 
at omega is equal to omega 1 it is omega 1 omega 1 minus 1 by 2 into j into k now this j and this j will get cancelled here now what we got here is omega 1 1 square l2 c2 minus 1 divided by omega 1 c2 is equal to minus 1 by 2 into k and I can write this one as from this 1 minus omega 1 square l2 c2 divided by omega 1 c2 is equal to plus 1 by 2 k just I am multiplying with minus 1 both sides now this will be 1 minus omega 1 square l2 c2 is equal to 1 by 2 omega 1 c2 into k so we know that we know that omega naught square is equal to 1 by l2 c2 that is equal to 1 by l1 c1 so if i replace this 1 by l2 c l2 c2 with 1 by omega naught square then it will become 1 minus omega 1 square divided by omega naught square is equal to 1 by 2 omega 1 c2 into k now it is 1 minus uh, f1 by f1 square by f naught square i can write like this into 1 by 2 into 2 pi f1 into c2 into k even though if i place 2 pi here this 2 pi this 2 pi will get cancelled in this ratio it will become 1 minus f1 square divided by we know that uh, f0 square is equal to f1 into f2 that is equal to this 2 this 2 will get cancelled here it is pi into k into f1 c2 1 f1 this f1 will get cancelled here it is 1 minus f1 by f2 that is equal to pi k into f1 into c2 now this is i can write as f2 minus f1 divided by f2 is equal to pi into k into f1 into c2 this is equal to c2 from the c2 is equal to f2 minus f1 divided by pi into k into f1 f2 in case of this band pass filter c1 is equal to f2 minus f1 divided by 4 pi k into f1 f2 but in case of this band stop filter c2 is equal to there c1 is equal to here c2 is equal to there is no term here 4 so this is the formula for c2 these formulas are important for finding or designing this band stop filters this band stop filter can also be called as notch filter next how to finding this c2 we need to find the values of l2 uh, l2 so we know that we know that l2 by c2 is equal to sorry l1 by c2 okay l1 by c2 is equal to k square so from this l1 is equal to k square into c2 that is equal to okay l1 is equal to k square into c2 is f2 minus f1 divided by pi into k into f1 f2 this one k and k will get cancelled so l1 is equal to k into f2 minus f1 divided by pi into f1 f2 so this is another formula next since since l2 c2 is equal to 1 by omega naught square l2 is equal to 1 by c2 into omega naught square so 1 by c2 value is this one f2 
minus f1 divided by pi k into f1 f2 omega naught square is nothing but uh, omega 1 into omega 2 so that is 4 pi square into f1 f2 this f1 f2 this f1 f2 1 pi 1 pi will get cancelled here so l2 is equal to this k if i bring to the numerator k divided by 4 pi into 4 pi into f2 minus f1 so this is the value of l2 next l1 by c2 so l1 by c2 we calculated this one uh, next thing is c1 so that is l2 by c1 l2 by c1 is equal to k square so from this l2 already calculated c1 is equal to c1 is equal to l2 by k square l2 value just now we calculated as k divided by k divided by 4 pi into f2 minus f1 divided by k square this k and this k will get cancelled so finally what we got here is 1 by 4 pi k into f2 minus f1 so c1 is equal to 1 by 4 pi k into f2 minus f1 so this is the value of c1 that we should place while we are designing this band stop filter so this is the complete information about uh, this band pass filter with this i will stop this session